Good afternoon, everybody. We're coming on the air just a few minutes early because you probably felt our big story right here. About four minutes ago, an earthquake struck the Central Valley, and it was a pretty good one. This one is 4.8 magnitude. It was uh, about 11 kilometers, as the USGS puts it, west southwest of Farmington, which is a community uh, east of Stockton. So, uh, pretty good shaker. You didn't feel it. I didn't feel it, but boy, the newsroom phones yeah. lighting up. Clearly, a lot of people. Did again a 4.8 magnitude earthquake just a few moments ago. This is southeast of Stockton, and we uh, are working to gather more information about possible uh, damage that may have occurred. And well, and you know what? We're finding out at about the same time there was another earthquake, and this one was much larger. This one was a 6.2. This was located. Uh, right near the California state line, um, about 32 kilometers, it says south southwest of Smith, Smith Valley, Nevada. So that was a stronger earthquake uh, in the Sierra, and that one happened first at 349 and 48 seconds, and then right at 350 and 13 seconds is when that 4.8 magnitude quake uh, happened around Farmington, uh, which I don't know if you could hear about our newsroom phones are <laughs> ringing, but I'll tell yeah. you in the newsroom, I felt that my computer monitor started shaking, and then people across the newsroom started feeling the rolling, and yeah. it seemed to go and for some time. You know, you've obviously you've lived here a lot yeah. longer than I have. But right. How unusual is this for this this particular area? You know, I like don't it. recall seeing an earthquake of this size in the Central Valley. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we had a, a swarm of quakes what just a week or two ago in mm -hmm. the East Bay, right. and the Hayward Fault is located there. But I'm not even sure what fault lines we have that exist. Dave Bender's coming in here. Uh, uh, if kind of we come could. In behind you here because of the robotic camera. Okay, they pulled up your map, Dave, to yeah. show right well, where this happened. Well, that's where Farmington is. You know, I, I built that as quickly as possible, 4.8. You know, you know, you're right. Uh, we have faults all over the state of California, but what's interesting is in here in the valley is because it's basically a, a river valley, a delta area. Um, they act uh, distinctly different. You know, you can have the sand movement, all sorts of weird things can go on with these guys, um, and that's why probably since we had a 4.8. Uh, everyone really, really felt this thing almost like it was a, a bigger and stronger quake. And you also mentioned the one that was out there over toward, uh, I want to say Lee Vining area, over toward the, the state line. Yeah. Uh, it's interesting that these popped up. And also on this, now, now notice here, you'll see some red dots that are popping on there. Those are actually the earthquake. Sensors that I have in the computer, so they're just catching up off with to what's the going far on. right of the screen. Well, actually, even look where I placed that that earthquake graphic where it's kind of pulsing. You'll mm -hmm. see a red dot pop up. That is the okay. Farmington one. And then the other two are bigger, meaning that's those are the ones over there toward the east side of the state. And you got to remember, we're on the ring of fire here. So you've got Mammoth Mountain down there, which is that one popping by Mono Lake. There uh, is is it's a you know it's a volcano. I mean, they're not active, but this is all around the area. Lassen is just around the corner here too. So. So you've got a lot of interesting uh, things that can go on as a result of, of course, the, the seismic potential in the state of California. And a lot of times, you can basically fire up these earthquake monitors that we have in our system, and you will have dots going like crazy. And the main reason you have dots going like crazy is because it's California. We have them all the time, but not in the Central Valley, not right. just to the east of Stockton. And it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't that long ago we had a, a, a swarm, a, as they're called, in the Tahoe area, right? And right. that's certainly not unusual, uh, particularly unusual, at least, for that area. You can get them up there. I mean, the, the bottom line is we have a lot of quake potential, mm -hmm. but it's, the, it's having it in the valley that's really, I have to tell right. you, I've been here 25, 28 years. I don't think I've had anything quite yeah. like that happened in the Central Valley where we've had a quake like that. No. It's usually and over Clear Lake because volcanic activity happens right. in Clear Lake. You got all the faults over in the Bay Area. Um, I, you know, I was around in the, um, gosh, was it late 80s? Mm -hmm. Was that the Hayward Fault that went off? I know that dates myself. No, but, that was the San Andreas Fault, and that was all the way down to Loma Prieta in the Santa yeah, Cruz yeah, yeah. Mountains. But they, you felt that here in Sacramento. Abso oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, so this is a very interesting situation that's going on out there. So, no, you weren't, you know, you, you weren't dreaming if you felt that thing going off. And again, you can see right through here, you've got that dot right there. So I probably should move this graphic over. I had to build this quickly. But that is your one there near Farmington. And then it got a couple of them out past the state line up there off to the east. And again, just to update people, we are um, experiencing again a 4.8 earthquake near Farmington, and now they're saying a 5.9 near Smith it. Valley. We'd originally said 6.2. That's down to 5.9 now, the latest number on that.